St. Paul, today's second reading from his first letter to the Corinthians, speaks about victory, victory over death, because of the victory of Jesus Christ rising from the dead. Death is swallowed up in victory. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. What is most important for us to be victorious in? What is most important for us to be victorious in, to be successful in? According to Paul, what is most important, the most important way to be successful is attaining eternal life, and not by attaining small victories in this life, even if these small victories mean world acclaim or becoming a billionaire. What is most important, more important, is attaining eternal life. Eternal life is a gift from Jesus to us. We are called to participate in the gift of eternal life by acts of truthful deeds of love, kindness, and mercy. What may appear to our eyes as small little acts of love, kind, and mercy are in God's eyes much greater than being worldly successful. A modern saint who emphasized the importance of these seemingly small little acts of kindness is St. Therese of Lisieux. Dorothy Day, in her biography of St. Therese, describes St. Therese's little acts of kindness done for love of God and neighbor as unnoticeable as atoms, and yet these atoms contain the explosive transforming effect of a nuclear bomb once its energy is released in ways, of course, only known to God. Today may we ask for the grace to believe more deeply in the transforming power of little acts of love, kindness, and mercy, as if they're little atoms that contains this tremendous, awesome power that God can release into this world, if we only do them. Out of this faith, as supported by grace, may we increase our small acts of love, kindness, and mercy. In so doing, we may become less afraid of death, a reality that likely all of us are afraid of. Or, to put it another way, maybe we'll have the same fear of death. Maybe that won't diminish, but we will become braver in the face of that fear. According to Paul, what should we be more afraid of, death or sin? Paul teaches that we should be more afraid of sin, of acting contrary to true love, kindness, and mercy, than even death itself, since Jesus has conquered death. Since God, since God so deeply respects our free will, God has not t taken or conquered us by forcefully removing our free will to choose evil over good. In his infinite wisdom, God has left us with the free will capable of choosing evil. Lord Jesus, help us to be more afraid of sin than of death. Increase our desire to be more like you by increasing in our lives acts of love, kindness, and mercy, even if these appear so small to us and unnoticed. For you have the power to release the tremendous stored energy, the stored potential in these small acts of love so that our world becomes ever more transformed by your divine love. God bless.